Hurry up, he says. Don't be late, he says. You need to be there on time, he says. Well, when my trailer is there, and this thing's in the way, <laughs> I won't be that early. It won't be a simple job of getting it and clicking underneath it. What the hell is this doing here? Hmm. It's Monday morning, so I reckon late on Saturday or Friday there was no space, so somebody just come and dumped it here. I'll find out what's happening to it. Hopefully, someone will come and fetch it within the next 10 minutes. Take it away, hopefully. Hopefully. I'm gonna grab that and stuff it in that hole there. Then I can get to mine, yeah. Right, let's get this trailer and put it in that gap there. So I'm in. They always give you this, all healthy. You gotta wear a pair of boots. You gotta wear a hard helmet. Yeah, all that twaddle, right? But they don't say. Right, shunt button off, brakes on, right. So that when we pull away from this trailer, it doesn't, see, I've got all the way this health and safety bull, but in every transport, in every yard, every transport yard up and down the country, on a Monday morning when the trucks have been in over the weekend, all the trailers are stuffed in as tight as you can get them. Yeah, oh, that's that side. Let's go and do the legs this side, because you've got to give yourself a bit more space this side, because you've got to wind the legs. Yeah, not too bad this side. But you need the space to wind the legs, so let's wind the legs down and drop this trailer. And so look. Trailer still. No room to wind the legs hardly. Next then. T R H U T R H U T R H U five five six nine five five six. That's the one I want now. <laughs> That's the one I want. So on a Monday morning like this, this is when the rollaways happen. So always make sure your handbrake is on and switch the thing off. So then if it does move, you can hear it moving. Yeah. So let's get the hell out of here. Let's pull the trailer out nice and slowly and nice and straight. So a small delay like that in the morning, instead of sneaking out before the rush hour starts, you uh, you get delayed. It's not a case of just moving the trailer. You've got to ask, you know, is it okay to move the trailer and where do you want me to put it and all that sort of a thing. And it all takes time. And of course, Monday morning, you're in the dark, you're on your own, uh, sort of, you know. Um, you've got to be really super safe. You know, you've got to make sure you've done everything. Uh, when you move these things keep yourself safe in the dark because no one will find you until the daylight comes and by then everybody's picked up their trailers and gone so uh, yeah so I've caught the beginning of the rush hour here which makes me a little bit later to where I'm going in the next city I'm going from Birmingham to Leicester so Leicester I'll be a little more behind in Leicester so I'll be full rush hour in Leicester which will slow me down a little bit more and a little bit more and it'll just Monday morning beginning of the week already oh dear me <laughs> welcome to transport mm, welcome to transport so here we are we've arrived at Leicester or just outside Leicester we are arriving at uh, full rush hour mode full rush hour mode uh, you know the saying time waits for no man well, I'd like to say time not only waits for no man, it also, if you're a container driver, time likes to slam the door in front of your face. <laughs> so anyway, hmm, it is what it is. Nothing you can do about it. So we were doing pretty good. Hmm, yeah. That delay this morning wasn't really a delay. Uh, they loaded me handy, so I gained a bit back then. So anyway, I'm just about to get rid of that job that I did um, and pick up my second job for the day and yet look at this <laughs> now usually 
it's a bit full but it moves you know it moves we're getting onto the ring road uh coming around birmingham and i've seen a few blue lights coming and going so i reckon something's blocking the ring road hmm. and i only want to go down i think about two junctions catch a ring road to a left over one big set of lights over the next big set of lights and there i am so where i want is is not even a mile away and between there and here summit's gone on blimey if it's not one thing that holds you up it's another thing isn't it all of that because uh, some poor foreigner where'd he come from mm, cz some poor foreigners uh, had a coming together for lots of things yeah Oh, the time it takes off here. Somebody has a bad day, just passes it on, doesn't it? Anyway, poor bugger. It looks a nice one as well. Let's get him in the mirror. Let's get him in the mirror. Yeah, it looks a nice one. Anyway, <laughs> these things are sent to try, yeah? So this is what's causing the whole trouble, is off this, uh, off the roundabout, off the ring road, there's a little road and off the side of the road there's a set of temporary traffic lights so nobody can get out off this roundabout to go up their little road and it's completely screwing up the ring road because of the volumes that are coming in and around the ring road um, and people making a mess on the roundabout not letting the roundabout flow um, it, and it just snarls up everything just absolutely snarls up everything and just up here there's a set of temporary traffic lights and that's been the cause of it because there's the, that much traffic traveling so much frustration goes on bibbing and babbing and you know <laughs> what's wrong with these people can't they see what's going on just take your turn but look 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 even Posty doing what he shouldn't do. Bloody hell.